Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rick Perry. I have a little small machine shop in my work shed. It's a little 10 by 10 workshop, so my, my logo is 10 by 10 designs. So this is the 6040 CNC machine. Um, I've had pretty good luck with it. Um, starting to get a few issues with losing Z steps, just a little bit, but it's enough for me to upgrade it. So I've got another video where I saw, you saw where I put a one inch thick surface plate and I added uh, limit switches. So now it's time to step up even one better. So now when I try, when I was trying to see motor tuning wise what I could do with the machine, I started seeing stall issues with the Z motor and I'll show you that in another video. So I decided, you know what, let's just start over. Everyone knows, if you do your research, that the best thing you can do for this machine is upgrade to a Gecko Drive. It's a little more money, but trust me, it's worth it. So what we're going to do to this machine is we're going to upgrade all three stepper motors and the A-axis is getting the same motor. We're going to change the controller out and do a few other things. So I'm going to spread this kind of video series out into different parts. So this would be part one, telling about the machine, 6040, I paid 1250 bucks for it a year ago. It does all kind of engraving and 2D cutting, perfect, no issues whatsoever. If I start doing 3D contour cutting, then I start losing steps about halfway through the project. And the kind of work that um, my customers are paying for, I can't afford that. So anyhow, I have a guy on YouTube that I'll put a uh, probably a video card up in the corner to his YouTube channel. And he primarily specializes in building controllers, and especially for this machine. And, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. So what we have is down here, this is the tan box. 6040 CNC, it's the PRT1500 spindle controller. Um, works pretty good, hadn't had an issue with it. I've seen problems with people's had. Knock on wood, this thing still works, except for the Z, losing some steps. So back up here, we got limit switches on X, Y, and Z. That way I can build fixtures and recall fixtures if I need to replicate a part. So that's the basic rundown. Um, if you want to see the limit switch video, I'll put a, a link to that. Now here comes the magic. So here is the controller that I bought. So the guy's name is Vince and he will call you and deal with you directly one on one and find out exactly what you want and what you want your machine to do and he will build you an enclosure specific for that machine. So I got this enclosure. Okay. Very neat, very clean. I'm very happy with the work that he does. You ought to see inside this thing. It's it's beautiful. I've got some work to do before I can completely get this going, but I'm just going to outline and show you what I'm going to be running. Let me step over here and get one of the motors and one of the cables. I upgraded to the 600 ounce motors. So these are the real good motors. The real high quality double shielded cable. I've got some mil spec wiring really high quality wiring that I'm going to wire the relays inside with. And when he sells you a complete kit, he gives you everything that you need. So here's the power cable. This is the relay kit hardware and it comes with the little connectors to go in the back here. Shrink wrap, connectors, here's just some hold downs, some zip ties, Here's your brand new parallel cable. He gave me the option to buy the USB, but I have two identical Windows XP machines, so I'm staying with parallel for right now. Here are the solderless connectors. 
this actually goes to the stepper motors to connect to the shielded cable. There's the e-stop button that's not on the machine. You didn't want that broke off, so that's packed separately. So inside this pack is the terminal strip for making all your connections. Here's the relays. These are 48 volt relays that carry 30 amps. So this will be for like turning on your uh, charge pump and uh, coolant for your spindle or vice versa, whatever you want. Use, a lot of guys only use one, but I upgraded and I, I got both. Then the last is the new, brand new couplers that he sells. These are phenomenal. Only one problem is these won't fit the 6040 machine. So in this video series, I'm going to show you a DIY solution to make these fit the machine. Normally you would have to take the machine apart and take the pieces to a machine shop and have them bored out so that this would clear. But we have a solution for this that lets you guys do this in your own little tiny workshops. So I got three of these couplers. And I think that's it in the bag. Yeah, that's that's everything. So this is gonna be video one, kind of showing uh, this is what's gonna go on. We're gonna take this apart, wire the relays, and integrate it with the other box. I'm going to try to do the spindle control with it. Um, if not, no big deal. I can actually do it from the panel front. You can do PC control, PC control or manual. So anyhow, this will be our upgrade for the China 6040 CNC. And I've did videos on how fast this thing rapids in its normal state and how fast it rapids with the modification of the velocity and then we'll see what happens here this is a 48 volt power supply inside and uh, the good motors so anyhow I strongly encourage you to stay tuned subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the little subscribe button down here and if you'll click the little bell you'll be notified every time I upload a video and that way you can kinda keep current to this little build series well, anyway, uh, that's about all I got for you right now. So, um, come check back once I get a little more progress done. I'll post another video, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.